This first one is 11 minute banger. Man, Michael, you're starting with a banger. 11 minutes, that's not usual for you. Uh, this is Domino Effect by Threshold. We've had Threshold on the channel and I have a couple of their songs on my uh, playlist because I think Threshold is a good, good progressive. I would call them progressive, at least from what I have, like more heavy and progressive. This is called Domino Effect who have appeared on the channel for three other songs, if I recall. Yes, this pops up on my Amazon Discovery Mix while at the gym. Nice. Now, I was crazy about this one at first, mildly cheesy at times, almost an 80s sound at other times, but I was impressed with the writing. They change moods a lot, great transitions, and overall their creativity kept me interested. After somewhat of a cheesy opening section, I really enjoy the proggy sections. Okay, so let's get through the cheesy opening section and see how this song goes. So this is Domino Effect by Threshold. Ivanator calling out Jason. For <laughs> this cheesy, Jason will like it. This definitely has like a Symphony X kind of opening. This is very Symphony X-ish, like a the Odyssey kind of opening. Maybe even a little bit of Haken opening. Maybe I'm speaking too soon, but I don't feel like it sounds that cheesy. Sounds pretty moody. Oh yeah, I guess the <laughs> is a little cheesy, but yeah, the the <laughs> is a little cheesy, but. Well, yeah, if it's Damien Wilson, it's gonna be a little cheesy. Uh, this isn't Damien Wilson. Is it? I don't like the more, but the voice sounds okay to me. Yeah, it doesn't sound like Damien Wilson to me at all. I can see this is kind of like the 80s chorus section, but I like it. I like the 80s, so who cares? <laughs> Lynn Morgan. Oh, might be related to me. Yeah, I like his voice. I just, some of his vowel pronunciation, I don't dig. Is that you playing piano, Michael? Michael, is it really Lola? <laughs> That'd be funny if it was. Yeah, I've not heard an American named Glenn. It's an interesting first name. Hold the flame. I'll be honest, so far I'm digging this, this song. I'm digging it. You're in the afterglow. Never let it go. Oh, 
Colin, are you sure that that's British? And I'm, I'm not questioning his like, I know. I'm asking. The only reason I ask is because I was told um, Morgan, my last name, is Welsh. And I'm, I don't know how much Welsh, but a lot Welsh is my background. I think I, I can understand that, like, what you mean by well written. And yeah, I get it when Ryan says it's kind of glam rock '80s, but I like I like that. I'm I, I know it can border on the cheesy, so maybe you described it well. But so far, I'm digging it. Yes, I guess Welsh is British, but kind of like Korean is Chinese. I'll probably get banned for saying that. It was a joke, people. A nice, nice section. Nice transition. Hey, my wife's Korean, so I can joke about it. Now I feel like we're into like a yes slash like Neil Morse kind of sound. I will be honest though, I can pay attention more to the lyrics in this song so far because again, the music's not intricate yet. Very 80s rock soulful-ish, which tend to put more focus and spotlight on the lyrics than they do on the music technicality of it. Like nice, soulful solo. Oh, man, Adrian, you're sure that you just don't like this at all? I think it's good. Not, dude, this solo is great. Nice, kind of like a triad. That was an excellent solo. So what I want to know, Adrian, is how you can be okay with like Haken's 1985, but you're not okay with this 80s glam rock. I think you guys have a closed mind. You're missing the point, Ryan. You called it 80s glam, and I'm not saying you specifically, but I'm guessing that's why Adrian doesn't like it, because the cheesy 80s. But he loves 1985, so that's why I'm asking the question. I like it. Okay, this is more of the progressive kind of section. Very Jordan Rudis patch. Ooh. 
Oh, I like that run. Ooh. That was a dude. See, we're now more in the technical kind of progressive section for sure. What about this part, Adrian? Because I feel like this part's pretty good. A little interesting, not very, very technical, but definitely the most technical part of the song. And I like how they're branching out. I would be happy if they come back. They did. Here in the afterglow. See? Well-written song. Starts off with verse chorus, gets you kind of pulled into the foundation. And then they've gone off a little bit, and now they're back. I get the cheesiness factor. It is a little cheesy, but I would I would say it's not over cheesy because of the voice. His voice holds it down from the threshold, <laughs> no pun intended, of going too cheesy. If it was Damien Wilson or someone that's like, what? then it would be over the threshold. Is that 11 minutes already? That cannot be 11 minutes already. There's gotta be another section, right? Okay, I was like, there's no way that was 11 minutes. <laughs> we thought that we could rule the world. The last to know that we were all just done. Like that note. Is that it? Was that 11 minutes? Wow. All right. I would say that's like on the border of going on a playlist for me because I didn't love it. So I kind of understand why just the way you described it, Michael, that it was interesting is a great way to describe it because it's got enough there to pique my interest, but it's not like one of those instantaneous, oh, that's going on a playlist immediately. Good writing. I agree. Little cheesy, I agree. I think, Michael, you kind of described it perfectly. Um, when I listen to it a second time, I'll decide if I put that on a playlist because 11 minutes is long. I will state, though, that I'm actually really surprised that 11 minutes went by that fast. So, 